I have to keep chucking them off of the nest every morning so they don't sit on the freaking eggs. Welcome to the brewery on a sunny, warm Tuesday morning. I've been here for a couple of hours already, folks, and I've got quite a bit done. One of the jobs I've just done is insulate the bottom of the mash tun. As you can see, voila. I'd be pretty good at piping cream on cakes, wouldn't I? Trouble is, I'd want to eat the buggers. And then, of course, around here, we have done some more work on the insulation. Check it out. So we've pretty much got all the pipe work insulated and the connectors poking out ready to receive the fermenters. Bottom of the fermenters, the same. They've all got access there to the isolation valves and nice insulated pipe work. Make sure there's no cold escaping anywhere. Uh, we've still got to do a lid for this, picked up some more fittings to replace the ones that I stole to get that finished. Got a little bit of isolation here, isolation, insulation to do here. This is for me to tap off to chill the cold liquor tank which is going to be this IBC. We're just going to store a thousand litres in there and cool it down for when we chill, crash chill the beer. Obviously, the water here, funnily enough, in this time of year is about 19, 20 degrees, well, 15 to 20 degrees C. It's quite warm out the tap. Doesn't help the fact that I've got the pipe running up along the top. So the first uh, few gallons, the ullage out of the pipe work is pretty bloody warm. So we're going to continue with this today. Get the glycol chiller in position. We also have all the control units to mount and hook up and then we can give her a full test. I reckon we'll be able to give them all a full test sometime to dirts. Today went really fast. So, glycol tank put together, all of the boxes are linked up. I'll turn them on just to give you a little sneaky peeky of what's happening. So I've had the, uh, the power meter on there just to measure the power on. You hear all the valves go. To measure the power on everything. It's all set to cool. Let's just have a look how many minutes we've got for the for the lag phase on the fermenters. One minute. So you should see these all flick on in a second. Uh, they're all daisy chained with these connectors that you saw me use. They sit nicely. Actually, I'm really pleased with how it works. The heaters work. I could climb inside and actually feel the heat coming through the tank walls. And it was a real like gentle heat as well. It's not something that's going to cause hot spots or problems. It was just like a nice, a nice warmth radiating through. And if we look down, and if we look down below, you see this is how we've got all the pipe work hooked up, all nice and neat. Bit of space so we're not fouling up. There we go. They all went at the same time. But yeah, a bit of space so we're not fouling or kicking any of the pipe work as we walk along the gantry. And once we've got the, basically the, uh, the locks for the lids, then you'll see that uh, that's what she's gonna look like. And we'll have some type of, just some type of bar that comes across like this. 
to clamp these lids down and push them down all the way around onto the neoprene. We're going to have a neoprene gasket like this. Get in there so you can see what I'm talking about. And when we press down on there, there's a good five millimeters of travel all the way around. So even if the lids aren't a perfect fit, they're still going to be able to have a perfect seal. So you've got a little bit of a rock on that one. But again, he'll be taken up by the neoprene. So like I say, it's 10 to seven now. I'm actually gonna wrap it up and bugger off home. I'm tired, it's been a short video, but a long day. I mean, there's only so much you can do in terms of filming somebody joining wires together, otherwise it gets really freaking boring. So uh, that's it, we're knocking it on the head. Let's see you later, dude. Got my new hat on. Oh yeah, he's got his new hat on. Munstons. Munstons? Hold on. <laughs> You're not in focus. I've just done all that with autofocus off. That was a smart move, weren't it, buddy? But anyway, that's it. We'll wrap it up. We'll see you tomorrow.